Intel's stock coolers suck. They're noisy and most of the time they don't get the job done properly. While stock coolers aren't specifically made for high-end processors, Intel stock coolers can't even do basic functions. This is where AMD comes in. While AMD also didn't have great stock coolers in the past, but with the rise in CPUs, they also improved their heatsink significantly. After several years now, Intel can also be seen doing the same. While we can't say for sure that Intel will be as successful as AMD with their new stock coolers, at least now they are apparently listening to their fans. There was a rumor a few months back that Intel is working on their new stock coolers. Twitter user Xerius tweeted on 10 September that Intel might be preparing new heatsinks, but he also said that he is not sure if this report is real. The image he shared shows three different types of stock heatsinks. We can see that they are made for 65 watts boxed Alder Lake processors. This means that they are supposed to come up with the non-K 12 gen Intel processors. This rumor is now getting even more solid after the tweet by a popular leaker Momomo underscore US who comes to be very accurate almost every time. He posted a picture of one of the stock heatsinks that was there in the Xerius tweet. This means that Intel is definitely going to upgrade their heatsinks to compete with AMD. As AMD already took advantage by selling the processor and cooler combos on their overclockable processors as well, I think Intel is now worried about its CPU share which is currently at 30%, but used to be significantly higher than AMD in the past. But now let's analyze Intel's new stock coolers through the images to see if they are at least theoretically better than AMD stock coolers or not. From this image, you can see that Intel has named these coolers under the Laminar family. These are Laminar RS1, Laminar RM1 and the Laminar RH1. Each of these coolers are aimed at different tiers of processors. The RS1 is supposedly made for the entry-level CPUs like the Pentium and Celeron, while RM1 is aimed at processors consisting of budget CPUs like the Core i3s as well as the high-end gaming processors up to Core i7s. The RH1 cooler is however made specifically for the i9 processors. The RM1 and RH1 have RGB LEDs, but the RS1 doesn't. This can be compared to the AMD's Wraith family, where some coolers have RGB LEDs but some don't. However, when we start to look closely, we don't find any significant improvement in Intel's cooler design. The RM1's high resolution image shows that the fins on the heatsink are actually made from plastic. This means that they are not a part of the actual aluminum heatsink but are there to dissipate hot air in all directions. So see it as the already available Intel stock cooler with the plastic fins added to the sides with just a touch of RGB LED ring on the top. While the aluminum heatsink design is not clear from the image, I think there is very less improvement in its design. The same goes for the RS1. However, the RH1 looks bigger and it is going to have a larger aluminum heatsink. But I believe that just as the RM1 and RS1 have plastic fins on the sides, the RH1 also has these, which apparently look as aluminum fins. On comparison with the RM1, it has an actual RGB fan on it, but my main concern is its design. While AMD's top-of-the-line stock coolers, AMD Wraith Prism as well as the Wraith Max have actual copper heat pipes, I don't think Intel has equipped the RH1 with these. This will be awful if it is actual design and won't do any significant good to the performance. Now the only thing left I want to say is its noise. Will it be quieter than the original stock coolers or will it still make tornado noise inside your case? While I appreciate this new step, it won't make any difference if these can't compete with AMD's Wraith stock coolers. To see where it goes, we have to wait a little more. And if you don't want to miss any updates on this, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.